end is near for the high school basketball season. Now's the time to put everything on the line. The deal, as always, survive in advance or lose and go home. Let's get to Houston. The Houston Lady Hilltoppers hosting its first round of the playoff matchup. Janola Jones with the skip pass to a wide open McKaylin Chandler for three. Nothing but net. Houston leads. Adding to it, great ball movement to beat the press. Michaela Crowley finds Amber McIntosh for the layup. Lady Toppers up by four. Off the long rebound, Trinity Bugs. Man, what a name, and the board goes coast to coast. No one's stopping her. The easy laying at the cup. Two for Bugs, and Houston advances to round two. The Hilltoppers coming away with the win in H-Town, 61-44. 1A girls playoff action. Ingemar taking on Hamilton. Lady Falcons in control in the fourth. Lexi Campbell with the miss, but battles inside to clean it up. The offensive board plus the putback, and Ingemar is up by 20. All Lady Falcons all the time in the final quarter. Katie Beth Hall goes baseline, pops up for the easy. Jay tickles the twine. Some surgical ball movement from Ingemar to close the game out. Camley Hall finds a cutting Katie Beth for the two. Ingemar taking the win over Hamilton 53-26, advancing to face Myrtle in round two. East Webster hosting Pisgah to start the first round of the playoffs. First quarter, Mary Grace Gregg on the wing, knocks down the three. Wolverines up 5-0. Three minutes remaining in the first. 11-2 East Webster. Peyton Flora with the bounce pass, dime to Whitney Winner. Wolverines up 11. A few plays later, Emma McKee, given too much space, takes it. Splash. Wolverines come out on top with a 67-50 win, advancing to round two on Friday. Over in Starkville, head coach Christy Williams in the Yellow Jackets taking on DeSoto Central. Third quarter, Sukima Suwell to Jada Adneel for the open three. Starkville up 33-23. Halfway through the third, Amaya Four recovers the loose ball, throws the dime to Brown, knocks it down. It's 43-29 Starkville. Next possession, Clark on the drive, Suell off. The rebound, though, plus the and one. Starkville up 46-29. Jackets coming away with the win 67-53. Starkville plays Fernando coming up on Friday. Pine Grove hosting West Union in 1A girls action. Fourth quarter, Sydney Carter putting in work inside. Gets the bucket, extends Pine Grove's lead 46-22. Later, Carter again, but the steal from Sophie Hooker. She lays it in, but that Pine Grove team still on top. The home team keeps tacking it on. Bella, jumper on the wing, knocks it down. And the Panthers come away with the win, topping West Union 61-28.